I was just hardcore GameStop. GME, 100%. We're going to the moon. The GameStop frenzy brought many new investors into the market. I just started pounding away. And it's just like, okay, buy it, buy it, buy it. And it keeps going up and up and up. And so I'm getting excited. Nearly 7 million people downloaded the eight most popular trading apps, including Robinhood, in January. That's more than double the previous month. But this community of online investors existed before GME took off. It's been growing throughout the pandemic, and it lives on social media. Robinhood users have been going crazy for Hertz. Here you go, NASDAQ versus NYSE, new highs today. That break yesterday uh, gave you a monster winner. YouTube channels, Reddit forums, Facebook groups, Discord chats, and TikTok influencers like Taylor Price are all talking trades. This community is meme culture, it's Gen Z, it's millennial, and it's people who don't want to work the nine to five. The reason I am able to trade full time is solely because of the Discord group. I got SM Energy at 214. So who's a part of this growing community of traders seeking and sharing investment information on social media? And how are the communities helping them chase the market? Hello, my name is Colin Chong. I'm 33 years old. I'm CEO of Omni Group Consulting, and I'm new to the investing market. Colin Chung started trading on January 25th as hype around GameStop was spreading, and the company's stock was gaining. You know, that morning I threw in maybe like $500, and it turned into $800. And as the share price climbed the next day, Chung continued to invest. I was able to somehow get uh, like a few thousand dollars in there. I wake up the next morning and it doubles. But it was at that point that I realized, you know, uh, it's very much like gambling. Chung has a business background, but not an investment. So for his stock decisions, he turns to social media. I want to talk to you guys about GameStop. Why is GME, AMC still down? Will it go back up? All the ones that I used to use, LinkedIn, Facebook, not so much. I'm looking at very much more real-time functionality. You know, uh, uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Is this a short squeeze? And of course, he's watching the market. So this is my triple monitor setup. This is primarily where I'm doing, uh, where I'm monitoring the stock market for the specific stocks that I'm watching. Despite the setup, Chung isn't considering making trading his career. I look at it like I'm spending $3,000 to entertain myself to see if I can make it grow. That's why Chung says, after taking out most of what he needed to cover his initial investment, he's put the rest of his returns back in the market. And he's still holding GameStop, an investment that's now costing him. If there's a profit and a payoff at the end, great. If not, I just, I just want to have a vested interest in, in seeing where this goes, because I think that the, that the results are going to be important. Here's three reasons why small stocks may have big potential. 20-year-old TikTok influencer Taylor Price also saw gains during the GME frenzy. Her follower count hit 1 million, but not because she was buying into the meme stock. I wasn't saying, oh, oh, look at, look at the situation as a buying opportunity. I was looking at it as a learning opportunity. I just made 350000 on GameStop. What? No way. What are you going to do with it? The first thing that I'm going to do is set aside 40% for taxes. Her posts are quick and informative, seeking to explain basic financial terms and show her followers how to make the most of their money. Your budget truly depends on your personal lifestyle. 75% of my audience is female, and you don't especially see them being so young like myself. They want to start controlling their own finances when maybe in the past, their father or their older guardian that was male had done so. But Price didn't set out to be a social media influencer. She first got interested in finance, taking college courses on the subject. And she says she started investing because she saw how much money others were making. This is how bad the market did today. And this is how good I did today. Right here, people. For many of her successes, she says she also had a lot of busts and realized that she needed to take a step back to learn some personal finance fundamentals. When I had this awakening moment about financial literacy and what school wasn't teaching us, that is when I said, I need to take this online. Three things nobody told you about before investing in the stock market. Price still actively invests. She says social media is good for qualitative analysis, but should be followed by research, and her posts aim to show that. Social media should be acting as 
not just giving somebody a fish, but teaching people how to fish. What? This is crazy. Thank you, Taylor. Hi, I'm John Bevis, and I am 28 years old, and I am a full-time stock trader. John Bevis, who once held GameStop shares, which he sold before the spike, said his goal is consistency. He wants a monthly paycheck, not a one-time bonus. Consistent trading, to me, is able to continuously make your return without risking too much money and always limiting your loss. He says consistency is a goal shared by members of a paid Discord chat he's a part of. The group, run by a company called Haiku, has roughly 22,000 participants and includes both a text chat and voice call. Yeah, I got I got SM Energy at 214 and now it's at 12, but I sold off at like 11. The Discord group has benefited me in almost a way I can't explain because of the amount of knowledge and effort and support they put towards their members. Bevis started trading full-time about a year and a half ago, leaving his job in construction, which paid him $45 an hour. So far, trading isn't paying him quite as well. He says he's bringing in anywhere from $800 to $2,000 per month. But he says that's enough for now. I'm not taking large vacations or anything like that. I can travel if I want to, but that'll take time away from me here trading. And that's what I love to do. 